Hello everyone, Trigan here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Don't forget if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. The railings are a little interesting. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to get out. I guess you just have to crawl under the railing to get onto there. I've noticed uh, several of the trains have railings around them like that. I suppose they're to protect people who are standing up there working on the working on the engine. So there's like that little handrail to hold on to, too. I think that's all it is. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not actually a pipe or anything. But this seems to be going pretty well right now. We can't quite fill it up, which tells me we're able to get the maximum amount that we can possibly get from, uh, from that farm. But I think this train would be more profitable if we could fill it up all the way. So... I'm sort of thinking that we should do something about that. Before we do that, though, we've got a problem here. <laughs> this is overfilled. Let's go ahead and add some more space. And let's get some more trucks while we're at it. And we'll just clone what we've got so we double the number of trucks we have. All right, so let's go ahead and look over here. I actually hadn't expected us to be able to make use of so many, uh, or so much food so quickly. But that's fine. That's good. Good. We lost a field there, but these things happened. What track type am I using? The vanilla track. That's what I thought. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Come here. That looks good. Alright, so what do we got here? This is... Actually, we can... Change that to Shanto Farms. So we'll manage the line. And we'll add this. And that and then we will probably need to increase the size of the train too but I'm not sure by how much so I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and let this do its pickup here and come down and deliver and then we'll it'll do its pick up over here and come down and deliver and then we should have a pretty good idea of how much we are going to have sitting here. Well, we maybe we'll wait until the train's almost all the way back. All right. How's this doing? Ooh, that's filling up so fast. Uh, I'm going to double it again. It may be too many trucks, but right now... Uh, I think we just need to get that stuff moving, get it delivered. How are we doing over here? I don't think we're delivering much by ship yet. Yeah, he's not doing anything at all. Okay, where'd the train go? Oh, he's already on his way up here. Good. So he's still going to be able to get all of this. I think we have a capacity of about, yeah, just shy of 100. How are you doing? Okay, it's going to be over capacity very shortly. All right. So once we get that lengthened, that'll take care of that. What should we work on next? I suppose we could put up a truck route. Come up here to Shanto to deliver food. Then we'd be delivering food to three places. But right now we're not sending much to Manila. So I don't think we really need to add another market to it. Ooh, we've grown already. Excellent. Oop. Pause that. All right, how are we doing here? 133. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and manage this. Okay, gondola. Okay, so our capacity now is 96. If we added four to it, that would be more than enough, but we're gonna need money, 2.2 million. We'll borrow another million. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> I love... I never noticed that we've got these alternate uh, 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 things. I'm pretty sure this is from a mod here. But they, they have the the train chime sounds, or the crossing chime sounds, as well as, uh, as, well as the uh, different gates. Okay, we are finally getting this emptied out. Alright, cool. Hopefully... Uh, by delivering to, from two farms now, we'll be getting enough coming into here that this will be able to produce enough where we're actually, you know, sending stuff to the farm. Or sending stuff, I'm sorry, to the boat over to Manila. That way we can make some use out of this area. How much are you carrying now? 16. <laughs> okay, then. All right, let me figure out what I want to do next here. All right. I've been watching this run for a little bit. This seems to be working out pretty well. We are back up to three million in the bank. We only got 19 million in loans right now, which is pretty awful from my point of view, but what are you gonna do? This seems to be running well, even though this is not a very long train, but the big problem I see right now is what I just said we weren't running into, which is that we're producing a lot more food than we can ship. So I think uh, opening up our truck route up to here is a good idea. Let's take a look up here and see where food is needed. It's needed in this area. Okay, so let's see. What if I... We go to buildings, freight... Yeah, that looks like a good spot. Put it right there. Alright, actually, you know what? I think I want to get rid of some of... Let's go ahead and we'll pause the clock for now. Okay. Now, go back to streets, to highways, put this on curvy. I just want to create a nice, even curvy road. Can we lower that some? Boy, we don't have a lot of choices there. It's either really high or really low. Okay, let's try this. That curve is wrong, but what are you going to do? Okay, that's good enough. And then we will do this. Can I not cross that there? Hmm. Okay, we can cross it further up. There we go. Trim off that little bit. All right. Now, we're going to need a truck depot here. All right, that works. And we'll go ahead and put a truck. I'm sorry, that was not a truck depot. That was a truck. Whatever. <laughs> it's a warehouse. Truck stop. Whatever you want to call it. All right. We'll put another depot in right there. And then we'll go from here to here. Oops. Let me just 
Shanto Fruit Service. And... No, that's not what I want. That's what I want. And let's put 10 in there. Okay. So how much... How many food does this thing... This city need? 35. Okay, that's a lot better than Manila. Manila, it turns out, didn't need a whole lot. That was a bad choice of places to send food. It has increased, at least, though. Alright, so that's added a good chunk onto our food need. Uh, Chento, it hasn't started... They haven't started shipping anything for that yet. But hopefully they will soon. Now, I think the next good spot, since we've already got stuff going here to Manila, I think the next good idea would be to set up um, uh, uh, tool manufacturing, which we've got a sawmill right here, and we've got wood right up there. That's a long way. We've also got wood right here, too. Ooh, that's shorter. So if we ran a train straight across here to here, Brought lumber to here, logs to here, then take cut lumber over to here, and then we can set up another train just to bring stuff back. I think that would work out good. Um, let's see here. Go back to streets. That's a narrow street there. So we want it to pass through. Oh, that depot's going to be in our way now. So this is close enough to get us to there, but the depot's going to be in the way. I'm going to put that right there for now. Actually, I'm going to need another track there. Let's see, can we do this? Let's... Uh, pause this. I hate to do it, but I'm going to delete this. Yeah, I keep saying depot, but... Yeah, right here. We can put it right here, right across the street from it. And then we just put a little angled road connecting it. Yeah, that works. So everything's all connected together. Did that replace it? Yeah, it did replace it. So the trucks are automatically... It, sometimes it'll work when you when you delete one like that and build a new one close by. It'll switch to the new one. And sometimes it doesn't work. And I have no idea <laughs> which, which uh, what causes which. Okay, now I think here, connect this. And then let's go ahead and just run this over to here. And then we'll, you know, I don't want it straight, I want it crooked. I want it curvy. There we go. So we'll connect that there. Okay. And I think this looks okay. I'm going to straighten this out. Or not straighten, actually. I want to make it a little more curvy. So I'm going to bring it down here closer to the shoreline there so now it's out of our way okay and then here we're going to put in another station the same way I think we're where we're gonna have trouble with this is uh, paying for uh, That's going to be a really curvy one, but that's the way it's just going to have to be. I think we're, where we're going to have trouble here is paying for the second engine. We'll see how much money we're able to pull in. We're still at 2.3 million, despite spending on all of this stuff. Okay, so that's connected. We can actually get a train running 
delivering logs to the sawmill um, right away, and that should start making us some money. That looks pretty good. That road's awfully close to the end of the uh, platform, but... Alright, no, oh, go away. Let's go ahead and... Let's put... I think I think I'm gonna want our what you call it over here. Let's fix this first. I needed to put a second track on here and didn't do it. Platforms. I hate that. Always one places in the wrong spot. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put a terminal one here. We are going to want two tracks on it. Oh, I guess we do want to put one here. Work out easier for setting this up than doing a terminal one. Okay. Bring this down to here. And we will come off from here. To put in our depot building. Okay, so we've got all that set up. So let's go ahead and get the, this delivery set up first. Get it running and making us money. And this will be Manila Lumber. Okay, how much money are we going to need for this? Alright, so... This is a lot longer run. I think we're going to need this thing to be pretty much max length. So let's see here. Alright, let's go with this big Russian class S. Sixty-two or fifty-two. Uh, we'll go with 52. We're going to need 11.1 million. Oh my goodness. Alright, can we do that? Can we borrow 11 million dollars? I don't know. Yep. That was it. That's all the money we can borrow. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, now this thing's got to start making us some serious money because we've got to pay off this uh, $30 million of debt or at least enough of it where we can, uh, where we can uh, 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 buy another locomotive. But we can at least get, I mean, I could if I wanted to, I suppose, just get a truck route going. We can afford that. That would at least get some tools being delivered. Hmm. Don't really want to do that. I'm just going to see how this works out first. All right, I've been watching this run for a bit. And we're doing pretty well. I've paid off five million of our debt. And we've got three million in the bank right now. 
We are going to need a very long train for this. But I think what I want to do first, let's get rid of that. I just want to put a simple road here. I did did really think about putting in uh, a truck route here. But if we can do a train, I would much rather do a train. So I don't think we'll have any trouble affording this part of it. There we go. And then here we will... There, I think. Yeah. Really didn't need to run that back so far, but there we go. And let's go ahead and put some traffic control on this here, just to be safe. There, so it won't run onto the track if there's something else in the way. Okay. So that's in. We've got four and a half million, so I think we can afford the train. I don't think we're going to need anything super fast, so let's just go with an old-fashioned one. And I think just four boxcars should do it. We can always add more if we need to. Uh, and I didn't set up a line for it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Manila, Tool, and Die. Alright. Now this is going to need some more trucks, because I think we just have one on here, yeah. Uh, no, I didn't want to manage the line. What was I doing that for? <laughs> here. This. Manage vehicles. Clone. Clone. Alright, so now we've got four trucks on here. Which we're starting to finally get some food delivery going on. See this here, its demand has gone up to 26 from 19 where it was when we started the episode. And we've got two good train lines going now. Freight lines. Four actual trains this is building up a bit might yeah this is built up too I actually looks like I can increase the length of this train some let's see we don't have a ton of money I don't think I can do it yet without borrowing and I don't want to borrow anymore right now if I can avoid it uh, this is doing well these trucks are keeping up I probably could trim some out but I don't think I'm going to because hopefully we're going to have some tools coming back soon. Yeah, so you've already got some tools ready to pick up here. So this will really help out the boat route because we will have stuff going both directions. Yeah, and now we got tools here as well. How are you doing? Alright, let's change this to wait till you're full there's no sense of running empty or not running empty but running with less than a full whatever we haven't had anything actually delivered yet so transport is at zero percent we're shipping 62 out of 100 if we can get that up over whatever 80 or something then that should grow how is this one doing same here, we're shipping 100 out of 200. We'll be able to ship 200 if uh, if that grows. Okay, so we've got some money in the bank now, so we'll go ahead and do this. Gondola, we'll add two more gondola cars onto it. Yeah, I thought about making this longer, but four cars seems to be plenty. Because we're just not going very far. Alright, let's just see how this goes. Okay, here is something I had not expected. <laughs> 
because we've got that route going over here to uh, Shantou. Uh, this train is, uh, our train dropping off the food is now picking up tools to bring back for these trucks to haul to Shantou. <laughs> so that's working out pretty good. I think we may actually be able to lengthen this train again. Uh, where is it? There it is. No, it's hard to say. Maybe leave it for now. But looking over here, um, we have way more lumber being created than we can actually haul right now. See, we're actually only managing to transport about half of it. So I'm thinking... Um, mm, how should I do this? Let's do this first off. Uh, tracks. Okay. And then we'll put some platforms on the side of it too. Okay. So we could probably almost double the output of this, or the transport of this, if we don't have it go the whole distance. So right now there's 61. So if we have a smaller train set just to go from here to here. Whoops, wait a minute. I thought I was creating a new line. How did I manage to do that? Uh, I think I just screwed something up here. Manage lie. No, no, you're not supposed to be on there at all. <laughs> I don't, I swear I hit new line. I don't know how I managed that. Okay, what's the problem here? Are you just stuck? There we go. Yeah, that's all. It was just stuck. Okay, um... So yeah, I think if, if I have a line that goes from there... Oh, we need to connect this up, actually. Um, let's, there we go. That's a nice curve. And let's actually go ahead and put some traffic control on there, too. So yeah, I think if I had an additional train that just goes from the sawmill up to the tool factory, or actually, ooh, what if, instead of having a separate train, yeah, here's an idea. We've got that whole train there, that right now is just doing the tool delivery. So if we, what if we added state cars onto it? We wouldn't need as many as we have on the other one. I may end up not needing this whole double track setup I did here a minute ago. All right, so let's do this. First off, let's look at this. Manage vehicle. Um, wait a minute. Okay, there's about 60 waiting. Manage vehicles. So, how many state cars do we need to get on here to get it up to 60 capacity? Oop, that was it. Just one, two, four, five, just six. Okay, I like that. So, let's go back to Manila Tool and Die manage the line. Now we'll actually add a station and go to here where he'll pick up and then head back to the other place. Why doesn't it like that? Oh, because this train's in the way right now. Um, train 4. What are you unhappy about? You shouldn't be stuck or anything. Where are you right now? There you are. Why are... 
why is this stuff here now? Why is it on the wrong... I want you on one. No, I want you to go back. Let's manage this line. We only need it to do one here. We need this. How did that get all screwed up on which track it was on? Okay, now it looks right. Oh, for God's sake. What are you upset about? Then as soon as this one uh, finishes up, I'll go ahead and remove it. Let's speed this up. I'll go ahead and remove it from the... Uh, there. Now it won't stop here at all anymore. So hopefully that will get us a lot more wood coming through. And this train will now make more profits because it'll be doing things in two directions. But we are out of time for today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And hopefully when you come back, we'll have some more money coming in. We're already up to six million here in the bank. Uh, and it just keeps going up. There we go. We're down to 16.5 in debt. So we're better off than we were when we started. <laughs> That's it, everyone. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time. character.